And as we come back to you on America's Forum, you, you may wonder about this. When you see Air Force One for the president, regardless of which political party he belongs to, when Air Force One shows up in a town near you, why is it so often the president will do an official visit, uh, something about public policy, and then a political fundraiser? Well, the reason for that is if there's an official part of the visit, then a campaign visit, the party, in this case for Mr. Obama, the Democrat National Committee, would split the bill with taxpayers. Now, this was supposed to happen in Colorado because President Obama went there for a fundraiser to benefit Democrat Senator Mark Udall, but there was a public event in which Senator Udall did not stand there publicly with the president, nor did one of the House candidates, nor did Democratic Governor John Hickenlooper. And to that end, that brings us to the topic from, uh, from Colorado, as Morgan Thompson is still alongside me. As we try to get the bookkeeping straight, the whole notion of the president being in Colorado without the governor, without the senior senator, and without a, quote, promising congressional candidate, Morgan, as you might imagine, that starts to raise some eyebrows. And it certainly has elicited some comments from my old pal, with whom I served in the Congress of the United States, who just won the Republican nomination for governor in Colorado. He is former Congressman Bob Beaupre. Bob, we welcome you to America's Forum. Nice to be with you, J.D. and Morgan. Thanks for the invitation. And congratulations, by the way. Uh, well, thank you for that as well. We, we know you're busy on the campaign trail, but we got we saw a lot of press about this, that that uh, Governor Hickenlooper, Senator Udall, took pains not to appear publicly with President Obama. Did it turn out to be that way? Yeah. Nobody wants to get near the guy, <laughs> which is a... An interesting turn of events. You probably all still have the image in your mind of, of 2008 when he was nominated here in Denver, and the football stadium, which holds 75,000 um, in Vesco Field, mile high, wasn't even big enough to hold the the entire crowd. Now, now they have uh, even the elected officials won't uh, won't won't risk a photo op with uh, with the president. Tells you, uh, J.D. and Morgan, pretty clearly how much the Obama luster has. Uh, has diminished out here, and it's created an opportunity for people like me and Cory Gardner and many others. Yeah, it's a really big change. Now, we hear today that Obama doesn't want to go to the border, yet there are pictures of him playing pool, drinking beer in Denver. How do you square those two things? Well, it's a lack of leadership. I think you were saying a lack of leadership. I, I did, did we lose Bob Beaupre? We may have a lack of an audio signal right <laughs> Sounds now. Sounds like we do. Uh, we'll try. I can, I can oh, there hear you are. Him. Oh, good. You're back I can with us, Bob. You fine. Good. Okay. okay good. Go ahead, sir. You were saying. Well, I, I, Go ahead. I was saying a lack of leadership on the president's part, but unfortunately, JD and Morgan, that's nothing new. I mean, we've seen that from the beginning. We've seen that everything is about politics. So, uh, carving out time for for fundraisers uh, and yet not having time to go visit the border when this is a great deal of his own making. Um, I mean, this, this has happened on his watch because of his lack of attention, because of his open border policies, uh, and, uh, and, and, and now he wants to keep his hands clean or at least his image uh, protected from the reality of it. Uh, I think it speaks to the travesty that uh, has become uh, Barack Obama's administration. Uh, Bob, as you mentioned the border, uh, we take a look back at the field of candidates uh, in the Republican primary for governor there, uh, a field that you were able to lead as you are now the nominee for governor. Also on, the, on that list, another one of my House colleagues from days gone by, Tom Tancredo. Uh, Tom, uh, a border hawk, uh, as I am. Uh, a lot of folks in the establishment are quick to say, well, you see, Bob Beaupre, he's, he's a little more businesslike about this. He's not, he's not as strong on border security. Are there those who, outside of Colorado, want this battle between the Tea Party and the Republican establishment to go on? I'm just kind of curious your take on the border and the role it played or did not play in, in the Republican primary and your eventual nomination. I suppose it played some. That 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 would be that'd be mischaracterization to say it didn't, because clearly Tom had his fans and many of them uh, for that reason. But I want to make it very clear: Tom 
was the first to call and congratulate me on election night and the first to offer his unqualified support and toured with me the following Wednesday uh, and, and offered that support in eight different cities on, on that one single day. So uh, Tom is very much with me. We're not that much that's that far apart on border security. Uh, and we begin there, J.D., as I know you do, that you've got to fix the problem. You've got to stop the leak in the bucket. You've got to have a secure border. And that's something that this president wants to pretend uh, is the case. But uh, pretending doesn't make it so. Uh, I think I think uh, we're, we're seeing evidence every single day of how porous our border is and how unwilling this president, this administration, uh, is uh, is unwilling to deal with it. So, Bob, tell us about your campaign for governor. What do you see as the most important issues for the state of Colorado? Opportunity, and then the fact that we have been losing a great deal of it. You know, we're still we're still limping along with a an economy that is barely growing. Uh, yes, we have had some job growth, but but we're we're five years into a supposed recovery, and we're still talking about this new normal nonsense. When a whole lot of uh, Coloradans are wondering where the recovery is for them. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got senior citizens that are forced to take entry-level jobs at fast food restaurants just to survive. More, more our, our number of uh, citizens in Colorado relying on food stamps has more than doubled since the recession started and showed no sign of turning back down, getting back to a more normal rate yet. Uh, so we, we've got the same issues as much as the country does, a lack of leadership, a lack of opportunity, and an encroachment on what people believe are their inherent, their, their guaranteed constitutional rights. Uh, we've had a state uh, and a led by a governor that's come after our Second Amendment rights, and people in Colorado are fed up with that. Uh, you know, they want, fr they want freedom again, mm -hmm. and they want leadership again, and we're going to give them that, ch that choice. Bob Beaupre, I recall quite fondly our days together on the Ways and Means Committee with pro-growth economic policies we both endorsed. We thank you for spending time with us, taking time for the campaign trail. Good luck Good as luck. you pursue uh, the governor's mansion there in Colorado. Thanks, J.D. Morgan, good to be with you. BobBopray.com if anybody's interested. I think probably some folks are interested, Bob. Like a good <laughs> candidate, you got the website in, and we thank you. Speaking of web.